Now let's see this example. Design PDA for the language L is equal to W such that N A of W less than N B of W where W belongs to A plus B star. Okay. So N A of W means number of A's in the string W must be less than number of B's in the string W. W means combination of A's and B's. So here we can write the language as L is equal to A B B. So number of A's are 1, number of B's are 2 in this string. 1 is less than 2. So likewise, so B A B B A. So if you take this string, number of A's are 2, number of B's are 3. So number of A's are 2, number of B's are 3. So 2 is less than 3. So A's are less than B. So likewise we can have n number of strings. So number of A's in the string must be less than number of B's in the string. So here the logic is very very simple. Let us consider this string. The logic is very very simple. Initially the stack is empty. If the stack is empty. And if the input symbol is either B, A or B, then simply we have to push that symbol onto the stack. Okay. Here what is the first symbol B and the stack is empty. So push this symbol onto the stack. Okay. Next, next input symbol is A. And what is the stack stop post symbol B? Here if the input symbol is A and stack stop post symbol is B, then we have to do the pop operation. Here we need to do the comparison. So for every A, we will have one B. So if the input symbol is A and stack stop more symbol is B, we need to perform the pop operation. Likewise, if the input symbol is B and stack stop more symbol is A, so here also symbols are different. So for every B, we will have one A. So we need to perform the pop operation. If the input symbol is A and stack stop more symbol is A, here both are same symbols. Then we need to perform the push operation. Likewise, if the input symbol is B, stack stop more symbol is B, then we have to perform the push operation. Same symbols means push uh, and different symbols means pop. After processing the entire input string, if the stack contains B, if the stack contains B, if top most symbol present in the stack is B, then we can say that number of A's are less than number of B's. Okay. So here what is the input symbol A? What is stack stop more symbol B? So different symbols. So we need to perform the pop operation. So pop B. So next input symbol is B. Stack is empty. So we have to do the push operation. If the stack is empty, then irrespective of the symbol, we need to do the push operation. Next input symbol is B. And uh, here what is the stack stop more symbol? B. So same symbols. So we need to do the push operation. Next input symbol is A. And what is stack stop more symbol? B. So we have to do the pop operation. Now the entire input string is processed. And what is the stack stop more symbol? B. So we can say that B's are more. So that means A's are lesser. So likewise we can take n number of A's. So all those A's. Uh, uh, if we have A here. Uh, if we have A here. Then the string will become invalid string. Why? Because here what is the output? Number of A's must be less than number of B. So let us take two more B's. Two more B's. So BB means push. So BB means push. Here the entire input string is processed. And what is stack stop more symbol? B. So that means B's are higher. Okay. Uh, now let us draw the uh, PDA for this problem. Uh, so let us consider an input string. So let we have an input string like this. Uh, let us uh, have an input string like this. A, B, A, A, 4 B's. So number of A's are 3, number of B's are 4. So 3 is less than 4. So let us draw the PDA here. Here we need two states. So Q0, Q1. Q1 is the final state. Next, on Q0, if the if input symbol is A and stack is empty, then push A onto the stack. So A Z0. So likewise, if the input symbol is B and stack is empty, then push B onto the stack. So B Z0. So for space constraints, I am erasing this portion. So next, same symbols. 
if the input symbol is a stack stack more symbol is a then push this input symbol onto the stack so a a if the input symbol is b stack stack more symbol is b same symbols so push b onto the stack next if the input symbol is a stack stack more symbol is b different symbols so we need to perform the pop operation so likewise if the input symbol is b stack stack more symbol is a different symbols so we need to do the pop operation epsilon denotes that we are performing the pop operation next here we are staying at q not state only for all these transitions we know that uh, uh, end of the input string is epsilon so if you read epsilon it specifies end of the string so if you read epsilon on q not that means end of the string is reached so the entire string processing is over and here b's are higher a's are lesser so b's are higher means if the stack stack more symbol is b then there is no need to change the content of the stack so keep b as it is and move to the final state so we are at final state so it specifies that this pda is correct okay now let's check whether the string is correct or not whether our pda is correct or not by taking this example so q not comma what is the input string here a b a a double b three bull b a b double a three bull b so number of a's are three various number of b's are four okay and initially stack contains z not so q not a z not so q not a z not means we need to perform the push operation we will be at q not only so operation on a is over so the remaining input string is b double a three bull b now we need to push a onto the stack so a z not next b a so b a means different symbols so different symbol means epsilon we need to do the pop operation we will be at q not state only so q not here operation on b is over so the remaining input string is w a triple b so we have to pop we have to pop a so now stack will become empty next a z not so a z not means we need to do the push operation we will be at q not state only so remaining input string is a triple b we need to perform the push operation so a z not next a a a a means same symbols we need to do the push operation so q not operation on a is over so remaining input string is triple b so push a onto the stack a a z dot okay uh, next uh, uh, next next one is uh, let us write down arrow like this next one is b a so b a means different symbols so we need to do the pop operation so for space constraints uh, i am writing here for space constraints uh, so q not what is the remaining string operation on b is over so remaining string is bb here different symbols means we need to do the pop operation so this a will be popped so now the stack contains a z not okay a z not next input symbol is b we are at q not only b and stack stack more symbol is a so we will be at q not only operation on this b is over next to b uh, here different symbols means we have to pop the stack so a will be popped so now the stack contains z not okay next uh, q not b z not stack is empty so we have to push so here uh, end of the string is reached so entire processing on the string is over so we have to write as epsilon epsilon denotes that we reached the end of string epsilon into anything is equal to that anything only so we can write this as b into epsilon so operation on b is over so epsilon so here b stack is empty means we have to push this b onto the stack so q not epsilon b so on q not if we apply epsilon and stack stack more symbol is b then don't change content of the b but move the state to q1 so q1 epsilon b z not here what is q1 q1 is nothing but final state so with this we can say that our pda is correct only why because we got the we, we got the q1 here what is q1 final state so this string is accepted by this pda so we can say that our pda is correct only